Hi everyone, we're back again live from the Ranger booth. I am with Wendy Vecchi right now and she is going to show us her awesome new Make Art Station. Uh, let me turn the camera around and you guys can say hi to Wendy. Hi guys, we're having a fabulous time at Creativation. Um, I want to show you my baby. This is called the Make Art Station. Um, and I'll start from the beginning on how this came to be. I use stencils a lot. And if you put a stencil on a craft sheet, it just slips around a whole lot. And it's very annoying. So if I'm trying to use a stencil, it's just like everything is plastic, so it's a moving, kind of a moving disaster. So I went to Ranger with an idea for what at that time I called a stencil station. And I thought that if we had a magnetic base, that would be the way we could keep control of those pieces from sliding around. It's since changed its name, but I'll start at the beginning. So when I presented the idea, they said, what do you want this to look like? And I said, I want a 12 inch solid metal base. It has to be solid so that it doesn't bend and it's not wiggly but it has to be lightweight so you can move it around easily. Um, I want the corners finished so that there's no sharp edges. I want a grid printed on the front of it so that we have um, an easy way to line up cardstock, sentiments, layers, whatever you want to get perfectly straight. Uh, I said I want the back finished, it can be plain, and this has worked out really well because we have a 12 or 9 inch craft sheet. So now we can use the craft sheet on the back, and you have a portable embossing station, which has been really, really popular. So now we need to talk about the magnets, because the magnets were really, really key to this for me. Um, I said the magnets have to be cute, so they're cute. They're brushed aluminum. They're probably about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, I said they have to be unbreakable. I don't want any pinched fingers, and I want if they do get stuck together, I want to be able to pull them apart very easily and they did exactly what I asked for. So the magnets are really, really nice. They're very strong, but like you can see, they're just they're very easy to get apart. So you don't have to put any washi on them. They're cute, so leave them alone. Um, the other thing I asked for was a magnetic ruler, and I said we, if we have it, so it's a centering ruler, so we have it the zero mark here, so very easy for centering. We have um, eighth inch markings across the top and inches, and then we have metric on the bottom so that this is good worldwide. So that it's, I, it's exactly what I asked for. I, there was not, there's not one thing I would change about it. I am 100% happy. So some other ideas that people have come up with, <clears throat> before I do the other part of the demo, um, some people have said that they want to take it on the airplane and it's lightweight so they can easily put it in a tote bag and work on their lap and even in turbulence your stuff is not going to be flying around so I thought that was really pretty cool. Um, people who color in front of the TV or sit in the family room with their family this easily sits on your lap so it's a nice convenient workspace. Um, I had some questions about how do I get paint off of here. If I'm going to work with paint, I'm going to work on the Ranger craft sheet. That's, that's, this does not replace the craft sheet. So that's for anything that's messy. I don't want anything messy on my baby. Um, if I do get my blendable ink on the top of it, I can go ahead and clean that off with the moist towel. That comes off very easily. Um, people asked about glossy accents maybe popping off. If I'm going to do glossy accent dots, I'll put those on the craft sheet because that's what the craft sheet is really for. So what kind of things can you do with the um, with the station? And we call it station, S-T-A-Y, T-I-O-N, because so station kind of gives you an idea what it's all about. So you can see if I line up my cardstock on here, I can put my magnets on, I can put them anywhere if that's out of my way. And I can use one, two, three, whatever, however many I need. Um, simple things like this. If I want my washi on here and I want it straight, I don't really have to eyeball it. I can line it up on the grid, press it on my cardstock, and now I know my washi is perfectly straight. So this could have been a cardstock strip too. Same, it would work exactly the same way. Sentiment strip would work exactly the same way. You can also, if I put this on here again, I can use the magnetic ruler, and as long as I line the edges up on the grid perfectly, now I have oops, now I have a straight line. And if I have a sentiment strip that I want to glue down, I'll add my perfect card adhesive under the strip, set it right here along the, the ruler, and it's perfectly straight every time. It's just so it's so much fun. It just it's like an extra pair of hands. It's it's super convenient. Um, other things that are just kind of little things that I discovered. If, <clears throat> 
if I'm working on a card and I have a lot of my die cuts out and I want to arrange everything, with everything moving, it just, it's annoying to me. So if I can like stabilize my base, so I'll put my card stuck in and it doesn't even have to be straight because I'm working down here so I don't care if it's straight. I just kind of want to figure out my layout. So if I put my dies here, okay, so that's where I want that. I want that so I know that I like that layout. So now I'm thinking, okay, what, do, what else do I want to do? So I can put my other little die cuts on here and you can see when things are held in place for you, if they stay in place, it's just so much easier to arrange things. So that has been another huge thing. Um, if this was all done and I had my perfect card adhesive on it and ready to glue, once it's glued, if I'm having trouble with that, not, maybe not staying down, if I put the magnet on it, I can walk away and that's going to stay in place. So it is, it is fabulous. It's absolutely perfect. I absolutely love it. Use it once and you will love it. Seriously. Right. And the price point, I should tell them about the okay. price too. In the box, you get the magnetic base, you get four magnets, and you get the ruler, and that is $19.95. So I think it's a huge, huge value. And something you use every day and you don't need to replace it. Awesome. Thank you guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with more demos soon.